In a few months, we will open a new facility at Cold Fieldhouse, a project that transformed a beloved basketball arena into a first-of-its-kind facility that will ultimately bring together research, science, athletics, and entrepreneurship, all under one roof. A signature part of this new facility is a football performance center. But this new addition will do more than enhance the performance of the next generation of student athletes. It will speak to our commitment to our history, social justice, and providing opportunity for all. Today, I am proud to announce that with the approval from the Board of Regents, we have been given permission to name the Football Performance Center in honor of two legendary and pioneering figures who officially broke the color barrier in the Atlantic Coast Conference in the sports of basketball and football. Mr. Billy Jones was the first African American to play basketball in the ACC, debuting as the University of Maryland in 1965, where he played in historic Cold Fieldhouse. And Mr. Darrell Hill was the first African American to play football in the ACC, starting with a truly historic season here at Maryland in 1963. The determination courage and strength of these two individuals help pave the way for thousands of black student athletes today, but they also help break the chains of segregation and discrimination for every one of us. Jones Hill House will not only cement the legacy of these two trailblazers, but will serve as an inspiration to our entire university community. Honored guests, I am so thrilled to have Mr. Billy Jones and Mr. Darrell Hill here with us today. Please join me in celebrating these two amazing trailblazers. What an honor for me and what an honor for them. Let's give them another round of applause, please. <laughs> Jones Hill House will also feature a new area we are calling Game Changers Row. Here, we will recognize other pioneers and groundbreakers, including incredible women whose contributions to their sport and our community epitomizes the rich and storied history of diversity equity and inclusion in Maryland athletics. There is one more individual I must acknowledge. The entire Cold Fieldhouse project would not have even been possible without the support of donors from our university. Notably, this particular donor, his gener generous leadership gift from Kevin Plank, the founder and executive chairman of Under Armour. Mr. Plank's support of this project made this historic honorific naming possible. In fact, it was his idea. Mr. Plank called me up in February during Black History Month. And as you know, Mr. Plank is very impatient, has a lot of passion, and wanted it to be done in the month of February. But as Chancellor Perman tells me, the Board of Regents has a process. And so we were not able to do it that quickly, but we were able to do it by the investiture ceremony. But more importantly, it was his idea to Virgo his own opportunity to put his own name on this facility, even though he was the lead donor. He wanted to do something special. He wanted to honor these two trailblazers. That kind of visionary leadership and selflessness demonstrates Mr. Plank's deep commitment, not just, just as alma mater, but to social justice as well. Mr. Plank is also here with us today. So please join me in thanking and recognizing him for his incredible gesture, Mr. Mr. Kevin Plank, a great turp.
We must protect this house. I had to say that. I'm sorry. I just had to say it. I just had to do it. <laughs> it's not every day that you get to say that and get a feedback from Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Plank, for all that you do for the University of Maryland.